Hello, welcome to Synopsys Insights. I'm Mike Thompson. I'm a product marketing manager for the ARC processors, and with me today is Matt Gutierrez, who's the director of marketing for ARC processors and subsystems. We're talking today about trends in the uh, processor IP space, and Matt, you can't talk about the trends in the processor space without talking about what's happening in the underlying applications. We see two inflection points happening right now. There are devices that have used 32-bit processors in the past that are simply using more of them, mm -hmm. right? They're using applications processors, they're using graphics processors, they're using special function processors, DSP, hardware accelerators. Uh, they're using them in a variety of ways on a single device, and we're seeing more and more of that in common devices that we touch every day. There's a whole new class of devices which represent another inflection point, which is devices that have never used 32-bit processors in the past, they may have not used a processor at all. Mm -hmm. They may have used 8- or 16-bit controllers. These are devices like smart cards, uh, wearable devices, smart appliances. These are devices that are adopting 32-bit processors in some cases, in many cases, for the first time. And that's causing a huge proliferation in the amount of processors that go out into the market. The, the focus in the embedded space is not on performance as it is for a main processor. It's on a lot of other things. That's right. Specifically in the embedded and deeply embedded space, absolute performance isn't the only thing that matters. It's how much performance can you pack into a very limited, in most cases, power and area budget. So it's about processor efficiency. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm going to take it a step further, Mike. I'm going to say it's about system efficiency because the logic that you build around the processor, that bill of materials of what you need around the processor, not only impacts the power and the area of the SOC for that function, but also the cost. And if there's one thing that embedded and deeply embedded applications have in common is that they're all cost sensitive. So we've talked a bit about uh, what designers need for in the embedded space. Let's talk for a minute about what Synopsys has to offer designers to help them meet their goals. Sure. Well, one thing that most customers are familiar with from Synopsys uh, besides our tools, of course, is our broad portfolio of designware IP. It covers a broad range of IP functions needed for SOC design. One of the components of the designware IP family is the ARC processor family. It's a family of 32-bit cores that have been specifically optimized for area and power efficiency so that they're ideally suited for the, tines, the kinds of embedded and deeply embedded applications that we've been talking about. You know, sometimes it surprises people who aren't familiar with ARC that ARC is actually the second most pervasive processor architecture in terms of number of units shipped. Uh, this year, ARC customers will ship over a billion chips with ARC cores in it. That plays out very well for us because that gives us, working with customers, a deeper understanding of the kinds of requirements to do embedded and deeply embedded designs. And that helps us in our roadmaps for future ARC processors. So uh, ARC processors were designed and have been for the last 15 years for embedded applications, uh, with the target being obviously to meet the performance requirements of the application, but also to do it with a minimum of uh, power consumption and area, uh, which is essential in embedded applications. So the ARC processors are very configurable, so that each core in an SOC can be tailored to the specific instance where it's used to minimize area and power. Uh, customers can add their proprietary hardware to the processor through custom instructions. Uh, there are uh, support for close coupled memory, so you can minimize the memory footprint, uh, as well as uh, uh, very highly refined instructions to minimize code density. Uh, also, we recently announced the, um, about a year ago, announced the ARC v2 architecture, which is an upgrade of the existing architecture uh, that further reduced code density. Uh, and we recently uh, released the uh, ARC HS family. Now, what we're doing with the ARC v2 architecture is we're creating a homogenous space for the software programmers from the very low-end applications that are on an SOC to the very high-end applications so that it's very easy for the software guys to write code across the whole SOC and also to, uh, to partition their code across the SOC because it's the same instruction set uh, with the same basic processor architecture. Now, the HS family is targeted at the very high end. We also have the EM family. It was released about a year ago for the, the lower end embedded and deeply embedded applications. So it's a very complete offering today. That's right. 
And you know, it's more than just the course that we need to offer developers. Mm -hmm. You mentioned software development. So hardware and software development tools are key to getting our customers to market faster. Synopsys has put in place, along with uh, a, a, an ecosystem of partners, all the tools all the hardware and software development tools needed by designers and software developers. We're talking compilers, debuggers, simulators, uh, operating systems, development boards. These are all the things that need to be in place for any processor architecture to help customers integrate the core into their larger SOC and develop software quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so today the ARC processors offer a very complete product for embedded applications. And the future of processors looks very bright. Uh, you know, one of the interesting stats I heard from an analyst recently was that by 2020, the average consumer will interact with a thousand processors a day. So that speaks to a tremendous amount of opportunity as well as uh, pervasiveness of processors and how they're going to be used in our daily lives. Mm -hmm. One of the other trends we tend to see in the uh, processor and in the IP space in general is the trends towards bigger and bigger pieces of IP, so-called IP subsystems. So we are investing in IP subsystems. These are subsystems that are pre-integrated and pre-verified that perform a specific function. They're built around the ARC cores. We've introduced an audio and sensor subsystem, and they're helping customers integrate functionality into their SOCs faster, more reliably, with pre-verified hardware and software, so it makes mm -hmm. their design job a lot easier. That's our commitment from Synopsys' standpoint, to invest in processor solutions for the embedded space that are going to help customers accelerate their innovation. Excellent. If you'd like more information on the ARC processors or subsystems, please visit the Synopsys website at synopsys.com arc. Thank you for your time for listening to our discussion today. Thank you.